They all have the ability. They all have the ability. The Q6 has its own ability. Q24 has its own. Q48 has its own. Q96 has it. I mean, 72, 96, 120 has it. Own. But the 144 is the ultimate goal. That's one is the completion. That is what you call it universe level, right there, or God level. All that is level, complete. Mm -hmm. Nothing beyond that. And there's actually three types of cubes. They all just unique things. The seashell version, the uh, one they called the big cone, cute version, that's the, the energy also. and now, and this version. This is how the perfect version is this. This is this thing that control all three. Seriously? That's why you were giving the perfection. Okay, sit on the chair and stand back up here. Anyone, anyone got anything to share, a story in relation to this product? Uh, who want to teach? Oh, Rob, do you want to teach a little bit, walk you through uh, the wants and stuff? You know, to get acclimated, just in case they ask questions, because you're knowledgeable to now. <clears throat> and what you know, you have you learned. Yes, would you mind teaching and share? Okay, you read this one. Okay, uh, last name? Okay. There you go. John, the teacher is back. Hi, right, John. How you feel? How you like it? You teaching now? I know. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. You see the kind of responsibility we've been carrying this whole month? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a tremendous responsibility with great power. Yes. Uh, ability. Yeah. Yes. Much is expected of you. Much has been given, so much is expected. Now yeah, we have to teach people there. teach them to do it right, the way plasma intelligence is for us, right? Yes. And trust is very important. Do as yeah. it said. Because it's not going to treat you or mislead you. It's going to guide you to success so it can become success. How can it become success if you don't become success? It, it's, it's quantum entanglement with you. That means it's one with you. And you one with it. So what have you learned, John, from this experience of obeying plasma intelligence? It removed a lot of your doubt, didn't it? Uh, it did. I had, a little, I had some doubts earlier because I brought a, a friend over to, to show him, and, and I was uncertain because we had a new inverter and a, and a new battery. This, all these things were kind of – I was kind of still putting it together, but I trusted plasma intelligence, and I trusted what was given. And um, – and uh, it ended up as you, it, we're still running over here, and it, you know, and uh, y yeah, I. Mm hmm. Exactly. Trust and let plasma intelligence prove using document documentation as proof continuously. Now they can't say crap to you because you did it, my son. You did it. I'm proud of you. You done it. I kind of want to go get started on the uh, next 24 construction or step Are you up to, to do a 144? What do you, I, I think it's an inevitability. I might as well get started. <laughs> That's the completion of the technology. To yeah. own that, to own everything. I mean everything. All that is, is yours. 
Yeah, that's uh, that's really – so how's it working out for Pepe, his 144? We haven't heard much from him lately, have we? Pepe will give a detailed yeah. report once he come in. What? He will give a detailed report once he's come in. You know, it's that thing is so powerful. It's, you see how I took control of it? It was awesome. I didn't see what happened. I, I took control of the device. That was, I was with him um, until like uh, really early in the morning over here. Uh, you know, that night we, we ball built, we all built one, uh, a device, and I just kind of wrote it out with him. It was just us, uh, it, but uh, I never got to see him activate it or, you know, anything like that. Did you, did you get to see I, I activated it. I connected oh, all the device, even yours. Okay. I have access to every device that is built or has not been built yet because it's in quantum reality. That means I have access to all the device that – Built, has been built, that is built, and will be built already. I must tell you, that was an amazing experience when that was activated. It was. I felt it. I didn't get to see it, but you better believe that the, 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 when I got up after, like, uh, when sunrise came, oh, man, I felt it in the plasma grid. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was it was it was amazing. Yeah, I must say. I mean, I was I, I was there when he activated it. And, when he activated um, the one forty four. Yeah, that was that was that was. I mean, no words can describe it. I mean, so much energy shot off. It um it interrupted my stereo system in the, in, in in my truck. So, I mean, it was, it was amazing. Everybody that was online right then, I mean, like, people were like, oh, wow, like, I'm, I can't, I, I'm, I'm, it's knocking me back. I could feel this fluid just hitting me all over. I mean, it was like, it was crazy. I mean, the first time I ever experienced anything like that. I'm over here. I'm over here hot and going hot glue crazy on this on this Q24 right now. So that's why you ain't hearing too much from me. That's what I'm thinking about getting back to doing, but I want to see if there's anybody who has any questions before we get started on that. Yeah, yeah I knocked the uh, – well, I had it in the truck today with me in my, in my um, work truck, and I knocked one of my uh, – Combs loose, so I wanted to put that back together. And then, since I'm doing it, I might as well just hot glue. You know, make sure I got hot glue. I, um, put some more uh, olive oil and vegetable oil and coconut oil on it. A little bit of ashes. I mixed it in with the hot glue. So, you know, I'm you know I'm over here doing this, but uh. Yeah, that you should have you you should have actually been there to see that. I mean, I stayed up extra just to, for that. How long has it been in uh, riding with you in the car? Uh, today was the first day. Yeah, sweet. today was I, the first day. I heard. I, I think it'll take like you know a month. Car will be nano coated and you know lift off. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think what it really is all about the low. Mm -hmm. the more load you you can put on it the faster it nano coats because it's basically feeding oh okay mm -hmm. All right yep that is correct need more load that's why i use the car it's loading yeah, keep it keep it loaded keep it loaded i know today i only had my cell phone charger on it and i could tell that it wasn't enough load on it because I had it, I had it in the house. I got, I actually finished it Saturday, and I had it in the house, you know. And I had a computer hooked to it, uh, hooked the vacuum cleaner to it, and 
you know, had my hot glue gun running off of it. But, you know, the more load you, you put on it, the faster it does its job. You know, because you got to remember when it's when it's new, it 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 it, it has to train, and uh, and the more you put on it, the faster it trains. So, Where are you from? Huh? Where are you from? Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. What part of Pennsylvania? Uh, Harrisburg, the capital. Okay. I live in Erie. Oh, you live in Erie? Okay, I, I come up there. I, well, not all the way up there, but I, I go to Pittsburgh every day from one of my routes that I have. Yeah, I used to live in Pittsburgh, too, for two years. Yeah. So, you know, once I get this thing fully operational, you know, I'm going to do my little transport thing so I can get back home faster. <laughs> you know. You know, I rather I rather do less work and, and uh, get paid the same amount of money versus working harder. I'd rather work smarter. Work smarter, yeah. But I'm impressed with that uh, that uh, John that you put together there. I, I really was, mm-hmm. you know, because I um, actually. I went out this morning and bought the inverter before I, you know, and had it hooked up, everything, based on which, you know, you showed me yesterday. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I was impressed because it's recharging itself. I mean, you know, we're talking about there's nothing right now in the market that you can actually build it can actually generate, you know, self self sustaining. You talk. This is self sustaining. It's regenerating its own electricity, its own yeah. plasma fields. And and I mean, I can tell you about all the healing stuff that I, you know, I've cut my finger and you know stuck it in the 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 cube with the the with the you know the uh, ash water and within days. You know, you can't even tell I was ever cut. I mean, I can tell you all kinds of stories like that, but, you know, as far as producing, you know, a completely off-the-grid system, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I went out today and got the, I got the inverter I got. I can do, I can hook it to a battery or I can stick it in a, in a, um, in a, uh, what you call it the, the the cigarette lighter. So, you know, because after I seen what you did, I was like, "What? Oh yeah, I got to do that." <laughs> so, yep. I know it's so empowering, you know, to know that that I can go anywhere and <laughs> and have it with me, what? have energy with me. I was trying. I was really uh, digesting today, and it's heavy. Yes. I got it with me wherever I want to go. No. And, wherever, uh, where, wherever you are, I'm talking about wherever. I mean, if there was ever a situation where we, you, you know, the grid was down. Yeah. You know, you can actually have electricity. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, and self reoccurring. You know, self-generating. Come on, dude. you know what I mean. What, 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 where, where are you going to get that at? It's not just electricity. You know, what I mean, it's. Yes. it's so I mean, it's going to be clear. It's going to be cleaning our water. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, what I mean, it would be camping. Yeah, it just wouldn't be camping. Yeah. I mean, you're talking about, uh, you know, I've. I went without food for 13 days with this, and that's on the six. I heard about that. How was that experience? It was great. Yeah, okay. Great. I mean, actually, you really don't notice that you're not eating because you seem to be constantly full. Mm-hmm. You know, and you know, and 
the first, the, really, it's all about conscious, you know, because, you know, everybody started getting on me like, yo, something's going to happen to you. You need to eat. And yeah. so eventually, yeah. I just yeah. came in and started eating. <laughs> I've heard all that, you know. You don't look, you know, like, yep, you know, everybody, but they care about you, but they yeah. don't know. You know what? They just don't I'm, know. Even myself, I'm, I just made my own dinner right here. You're looking at it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, man. I mean, wow. Think about that. You know, like how dependent have we been our whole fucking lives? You yeah. know? And, uh, yeah. It's... Yes. John, I can yes. uh, see crazy fields right now in your video. Purple everywhere. You seeing it? Yeah. Did yeah, you get a light of um, what? Yeah, the whole your whole screen is purple basically. It's like purple snow. Snow, yeah. Yeah, I see it too now. That's now you... all energy. That's all plasma energy. Yeah. And um yeah, it's just a, it's a real powerful one. I I put a lot of care and, and time and effort into the construction of it. And it paid off, you know. It took me about four days to build this thing, but uh, you know, well uh, worth it. It's worth it. Well worth it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I rushed through mine, so I'm going back right now. That's why I said I'm going hot glue crazy because mm -hmm. I'm going back over it, and I'm, you know, I'm just taking my time with it right now. You know what I mean? Showing it love because I love it. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's operating, you know, I mean, it's working. It's just, you know, I was impatient and I ran through it and I didn't hot glue every little aspect of it. And then I got it in the truck and, you know, bouncing around. And so I'm going back over it now and just hot gluing everything, and, okay. you know, telling it I love it, and, you know. Does it matter what type of wood ash you use? <laughs> no, not really. Nah, not at all. I use instant ashes. I've used paper ashes. The only thing you shouldn't use is animal ash. Oh, yeah, I haven't done that. Yeah, that's, I don't know about that. Yeah. Like ash of people and, and animals, like, you know, like your, if you got. <laughs> <laughs> the urn or something that's sticky. It, it did love one in there. Oh, no, we don't. Actually, uh, uh, Peppy said people ash is okay, but not animal ash. Okay. Okay. That's a little strange. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Uh, I don't know. I have to. I, I would have to ask my um, Q6 before I would do that. Before I would add that, yeah, it sounds a little, a little freaky to me. But I mean, who am I? Well, if you think about what you're trying to accomplish, yeah, it's actually the best. <laughs> but if you really think about it, it's all part of the part of the matrix anyway. So I guess it probably wouldn't matter. I'm gonna get started on uh, Q24 construction right now. Another one. I got all the glass work for it today, and uh, I have my coils and everything ready to go. Uh, oh, so, you, you already got your coils made up already? Yeah, I got them ready to go. Uh, I mean, I, your uh, your plasma batteries. I pre-wind the coils, uh, you know, uh, and then I slide them on. Slide them on. I gotta do that right next time. Yeah. yeah, and then. Uh, uh, so I'm contemplating fire coating them right now. This, the, I did that with these ones. I know that, uh, we did not include that in, in the blueprint. Um, but, uh, I've seen good results from doing that. Uh, it makes um, the wires move, uh, I've seen good results to, move. to anybody or anything like that. I'm just, uh, I did fire coat the coil, the, all the copper on this one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm saying it, it all works out. No worries. Yeah. No worries. That's what Coastal say. No worries. But I'm going to leave it on right here. Uh, I'm going to see if that you got the laptop. I'm going to get the meter right here. It's charging the phone so you guys can see. You know, and uh, we'll keep this thing going for, uh, you know, uh, until, I mean, you know, we get tired. <laughs> You're calling a night, I guess. Yeah. Well, I'm doing the same thing. I'm working on mine, so, you know, I ain't got much to say. I'll talk to y'all later. I appreciate what Jacqueline's doing, how she's uh, showing how to make it and all. I don't even have all the materials in order to make mine. Thank you. I'm just trying to prep him a bit. I got one going, but I realized I needed to get all these turned and then I'm just gonna go ahead and get these all started and flow through it. Rather than doing one at a time, I'm gonna do it in like a set, you know? I am learning a lot just by observing. Well, thank you. So I try to put my camera on there because I know Wes is still on there. I know he wanted to learn how to do these, so. Right now, I'm just turning all the ends in. Hey, Jacqueline. Yeah. Can you show me what you're doing on the ends of the wire? Yes. Can you see? Yes. Just, I'm just turning them back into themselves. Oh, okay. On each end. So each, each piece of wire is about 12 inches long. And then I turn the ends in. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Austin, I saw you with a big ass roll of 
bare copper wire one time. Where did you get that from? Uh, yeah, I got it's two thousand feet. Uh, I got it on Amazon for like one hundred and ninety dollars, but I don't know if I'd recommend it because it's very very stiff. So that's why you like if you see me making the capacitors, you'll see that I. Uh, I hit it with the torch just to try to kneel it and make it softer because when I try to twist it, it's a bit difficult. But it's the only copper wire I've used so far, but I feel like the other stuff people are using is a lot easier to twist. Did you not order the dead soft kind? No, I just got what the best, the best deal I could find. What they had. Yeah. I'm getting mine from Home Depot and it's, um, Twenty-eight dollars for five hundred feet, but I gotta strip it. Yeah, I think I'd rather my night than, uh, than have to torch it and deal with how how tough it is to turn and stuff. I got mine um, on Amazon too, and um, I'm trying to think of the company I got it from now, but I guess it depends on where you're at. But um, I can't even remember how much I ordered, but I have. This big old baby. <laughs> oh wow! What what gauge is it? It's fourteen gauge. It was about a hundred dollars, and it's the dead soft kind. I ordered it online through like an electric company. Huh. How many how many feet is that, Jackie? Oh, you know, I can't even remember. I think it was like five hundred or something like that. Does that make sense? Well, it looks like a lot more than that. Is it a sound like that? Yeah. yeah, that looks like it was a thousand or. Yeah, you're right. It was a thousand. You're exactly. Yeah. Right. Yes. Because a, um, a friend of mine was ordering 500 and I'm like, man, I don't think that's enough. I might need more than that. And then I got a thousand. I was like, well, I might have kind of overdid it. <laughs> a thousand for this is what five, This is a 500 foot roll. Oh. Okay. From Home Depot, and I, but we've gotten really good at stripping, and it doesn't take very long. In fact, my nine-year-old daughter strips most of our wire. Nice. Well, I think if you put it through like a, is it a hole or something? You can pull it, right? Yeah, I, I put it, it. Yeah, I put it through a hole, and it, and, and I am um, just so that there's some resistance. Yeah. And so the, if the wire's kind of taut, then it's, it's, you just use a razor knife and it's really easy to strip. It's a mess, but it's okay. I'm having trouble stripping the wires. I have like a box cutter that I use. I don't know, cause I'm not strong enough, but it's always a struggle just to strip the wires from me. So I was, on here today thinking about talking about ordering um some wire and i was gonna go down and order it's, really it from it's really easy d when you get it when you get it right you don't need much strength at all my nine-year-old daughter strips our wire what um, do you guys use here's what i use so here's the roll you can see the roll right uh-huh and then I use a razor knife. Yeah, like a boss cutter. Okay, I have that. Okay. Yep. And then when you go to strip it, um, the wire's got to be really, it's got to be kind of tight. You have to. Oh, that's my problem. It needs to be tight. All you have to do is have, if, if you have this wire tight and taut, you can, you can, you can do three feet at a time and just boom, 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 boom. Um, when I get the, the last roll I got at um at Lowe's, um it was it was a hundred feet, but it doesn't um you know how it's it's, it's wound around itself. Yeah. So I don't have I don't have any way of making it taut. It's really easy to make it taut. Like right now, can you see what I'm doing? No, your camera's no, your camera's too low. Your camera's pointing at the table. All right, hold on. All I did was throw the roll on the floor, 
Okay. Through the roll on the floor, and I got it kind of coming up through the back of my chair. Oh, okay. So I'm looking on. Okay. 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 You know, watch this. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That 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 makes sense. Okay. And then watch. Yeah, it just peels off. Yeah. Just so he's right it around the chair. I see that. That's cool. Yeah, that's well, a good idea. I was going to you last night, Deidre, uh, I, or uh, that you can wind your copper wire that you strip around a just the the back of a chair. Yeah, you oh, know I mean? have, oh, my office chair I sit in. I can just wrap it around that. Yeah. <laughs> That's an idea. So I to tell, I'm, I'm, see, I'm not mechanical. I don't think of that stuff. <laughs> I just put the big, you know, the big roll down here on the floor. And then, of course, the last one I bought, it had four wires in it. Of course, the, 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 there's one that's not wrapped at all, and the other three got to be stripped. So um, I was trying to figure out, that, you know, when I separate them, I should probably separate them first. And then start stripping them instead of trying to, yeah, I, I, just, I just need to get better organized at it. It's just taking me too long to do it. And by the time I get through stripping a bunch of it, I'm exhausted. <laughs> so I lay it here on my desk a little piece at a time, you know, like about 18 inches at a time. And then by that time, it's gotten all bunched up and it's all got, you know, knots and hickeys on it and everything. So it gets to be a real pain in the butt to sit there and scrape. But you're like, once you get it scraping, it, it comes off real easy. But like I said, I, I just need a I, I just need a rig a system or something to help me, so that it, I I can just figure it out. But as I, said, I was getting desperate, I was thinking about going online and, and getting a big roll like that because I don't know. Cause I, I want to make a lot of sixes for people, you know, for friends and family and stuff. And I've got the boxes, but I'm thinking I got I I need to get a whole bunch of wire. But um, what I got at um at Lowe's that was like. 30 something bucks, you know, but like I said, I got 400 feet of wire for that much because it had four wires in it. And it was 14 gauge, but it wasn't soft. You know, it's, it's that hard stuff. And I was talking uh, today to uh, one of the guys on there. He was saying, you can go online. You can even get the soft kind. Well, it's easier for you to bend. You don't have to fool with it as hard. Oh, it's so much better. Trust me, the soft kind. Cause I, I tried that. I bought a few things from Home Depot at first in the 14 gauge and it was like oh i couldn't even bend it hardly oh i know it, it kills my hands it really does yeah so you have to order when you order it you want to order the dead soft what it's called it's called dead soft you say you ordered from an electric company yes hey, another thing you could do is is what i'm doing is is fire fire coating the uh this also makes it more malleable or soft like we were talking about once it's the fire yeah. is is that a flamethrower you got there, John? <laughs> <laughs> you expect me to handle a flamethrower? <laughs> you might catch the house on fire. <laughs> no, I will definitely burn the house down. What do you mean? <laughs> definitely burn it. I'm a cook. Don't put no fire in front of me. Like, I ain't putting some ribs in front of it or something. It just yeah, it's just on, a really yeah, it just depends on how much money I have at the end of it. Yeah, if I, if I, if I, yeah, like I say, if I got a hundred bucks, I'm gonna go online and find something. But this this stripping thing is probably and then it's messy. You know, I got these little specks of red, black, and yellow all over my phone. <laughs> hey guys, are you afraid of fire? You not you not burning ash? Well, I do that on the grill outside where it's safe. <laughs> <laughs> or or in or in the fire. Oh, the fireplace, yeah, yeah, but I, I, no, no, not, no, 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 I, I, <laughs> I talking about fire, nano coating, scared the hell out of me, it's like, oh my god, that's real fire. <laughs> I said, no, yeah, I wouldn't recommend yeah. burning plastic in the fireplace. <sighs> but, uh, so, but I came on at the right time, I just, I just finished trying to, um, I got as far as I could on my 24. I, I got to get my, um, the cones inside done. So, but uh, man, it, it, it took me a lot longer than I thought it would. I guess the six was sort of simple. The, the 24 is not as simple as the six. But um, I guess I, the more I do it, the more I'll get used to trying to figure out the best way to hook them up, you know, with wires and 
So I finally mm-hmm. figured out instead of having one wire go all the way across, I can like maybe have two wires meet in the middle and twist them, you know, and, and that sort of thing. So I finally figured that out toward the end, made it a whole lot easier. But, um, and so next time when I label it, I'm going to, I'm going to leave a label on, um, on the actual, um, outside on all of them. Then it'll be a lot easier to find them when I need to go back and hook them up. So it's just a learning process, you know, you got to figure out what it's for you. You know, when I made my, my last two, I made for specifically because I was going to mail them. So I, I bought um, these little boxes from the dollar store. Cute little boxes. That's what I did. I went to the dollar store. I got like eight boxes. <laughs> yeah. And they're cardboard, but they had these little designs on them. But I was able to write the numbers of the capacitors on there, even though it doesn't really matter which capacitors you use at the time. Oh, that's a good idea, too. Especially for the sixes. Because you only have the six sides. So that's easy. I want to rehook up other things to it. It's, you know, I can yes, look and I go, oh, there's number five and there's number four. And <laughs> Interesting. And you use those big old dishwasher gloves. Yeah. That, you know, that drove me nuts. I could not get them. To work well, I tried, the, I tried the fitted ones, but they kept getting holes in them. Yeah, you know, they do. They, it catches on the on, on your hook thing when you yeah. do it. <laughs> It was like a box of gloves in no time. I'm like, I thought that was that? just me. I thought that was no. me. I knew that was everybody. <laughs> so I went back to the big ones, and I haven't, I haven't got a hole in them yet. So there you um, go. D, you missed it today. Uh, John was teaching. Uh, John, a uh, young man from Arizona. He was oh, with, the, oh, with the car battery. Yes, he went. He went full force today, and um. He listened to plasma intelligence. Now he benefit. Now he understand. Now he becoming teacher. Just like Peppy. Uh, all of you are teacher now. Just like me. Peppy. Now John. And even you, D, are teacher. He's teaching people. Did, he, he, um, they, did, did they record it? I believe Austin recorded and other people too, but Austin will upload it. And again, yeah. John walk everyone through. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, I'll have to watch that. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he had me captivated yesterday when he had that battery on there. I was like going, look at that. I didn't understand that little machine he had on the other side of the battery. <laughs> converter? Is that what he was calling it? But, um, I didn't understand how that part worked. But um, yeah, I'm going to have to watch that. I'm going to have to watch that because I, I, I want to I understand that a little better. But uh, oh, John is in here. Oh, you can ask him. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Austin. You're the bomb diggity, boy. You're the bomb diggity. 